well. It's uh, Monday, November 8th, uh, 2021. Um, it's been about a full you know, day since uh, the last installment. And uh, I haven't seen any uh, notification or uh, communication or any, any sort of assessment of the situation. Um, and it just makes me think that uh, I've imagined the whole thing. That there was nothing there um, for me to be concerned about. Um, is it had nothing to do with me. Uh, it was none of my business. And it was not for me. So I didn't need to be reacting to it. So anyway, the facts remain uh, how they are. Um, I remain how I am, um, doing whatever it is I do, however it is I do it, um, living the life that I, I live as I do, um, the best I know how at this time, um, trying to make better decisions, healthier decisions, not just for myself, but for um, the world around me, um, trying to be a benefit rather than a detriment. Um, So, anyway, that whole thought train as it travels. So, anyway. I guess on the other side of things, um, I've been seeing what I've been seeing. And it's like, hmm, I hope everything's turning out okay. Um, sounds like they're going through something. Um, a loss or a change in some relationship that uh, somewhere I don't know but again it's you know it doesn't involve me it's not about me it's not for me and if my uh, thoughts or um, counsel was uh, thought um, wanted but I haven't been contacted there is no communication. There is no conversation. There is no correspondence. Um, so I can make these um, indefinitely because it's just me talking to myself. So it doesn't require um, any sort of social connection. Um, it can just be a, a one-way communication. Just uh, an expression, um, you know, not really directed or targeted, um, directionless. Um, just thoughts out there floating. And um, not that that gives them any less weight or less meaning um, or less context. They mean what they mean to me in the moment that I'm But it just seems like, seems like, you know, per, you know reality versus perceived reality. Um, you know, I like to, you know, I, I am constantly um, checking. Because I don't know, in one given moment, when I think I know what reality is about, and I feel like some sort of certainty, I get so thrilled. Because I think something, like, oh, I know something. And I get so... Just, I feel good about myself and the world because I think I know something. And uh, then, like, the rug gets pulled out from underneath me. And it's like, ah, you thought you knew something. No. But the only thing I can possibly know for myself to be true is... So, if I know that, then I'm doing okay. The rest... faith and trust and hope and um, you know, I can I can put that out and uh, see what happens and I just continue to uh, you know I stay the course it's like I, I, I think I'm doing pretty okay 
and I might not be happy, and uh, all that fun stuff, you know, that, that thought train. Um, but I'm still happier, yada, yada, yada. But uh, still, bah humbug, as usual. Um, things don't go my way, and I don't understand um, any of it. Um, if anybody wonders, like, well, why, how does he still continue? You don't know how it used to be. This is great. <laughs> By comparison. So, anyway. And for all I know, jumping from one uh, perceived reality to another, um, what I'm thinking of, the person I'm thinking of, um, they might be uh, dealing with and letting go of an entirely different situation, you know, which kind of, it's like it, it kind of has similar connotations that I'm like thinking it has something to do with me. It, it's something I don't know about. And uh, um, there could be entirely different, you know, and I'm sure that there are. Not everything's up there for me to see. That's none of my business. Um, but uh, it could be something about letting go of one of those, and which makes more room in their life for stuff that they do want to have in their life because it does actively contribute. Or, you know, or they're just letting go of everybody. Or, I don't know. I just know for myself, um, having fewer um, relationships, having fewer communications, um, fewer um, responsibilities, and uh, people waiting on me. Um, you know, the better off I am. So, the less accountability I can manage to maintain, the better off I am having to think, you know, like if I'm split between too many places, and that's a bad thing. I'm too scattered already. So I need to coalesce. Bring it home. So Anyway, so it's like I'm a bit uh, concerned, um, a little bit disheveled and uh, worried, but I hope it's only, I think it's probably for no reason. Um, at least that's what my belief tells me. Um, and I am concerned about their uh, physical well-being from some of the things that they've said, um, that they're placing themselves in a uh, um, in situations uh, that might be a little dangerous. Um, but I have no, you know, they've survived um, this long. You know, just a, I've somehow survived myself this long. Um, and it's like, hmm. I just thought they know they are the best architects uh, of their own uh, fortune and destiny, and, and uh, you know they are the most they are the person most qualified to be them, just as I am the most qualified person to be me. No one else gets to step in and do it better. Um, so, yay. No, that's not. Um, but somehow I managed to keep things going, just like they do. And it's impressive, I think. And, uh, you know, we each beat ourselves up too much. And uh, I was thinking about suffering yesterday, before. And uh, I was thinking about how uh, I've been suffering, you know, in my way, um, like my entire life, um, for, you know, but I'd like to, you know, I'm always going to suffer. That's just a thing. That's not, there's no opting out of suffering. That's just part of it. Um, but I have a choice. I didn't have that before. I used to be suffering um, for all sorts of um, bad reasons, bad causes, uncertainties, unknowings. Um, so it's like, at least now, I can suffer for good causes for like um, you know I can't you know it's just like uh, in life there's going to be pain but suffering I can have a choice about you know I can I don't have to suffer as much or for as long about um, the same thing I can choose to 
um, try to you know get some you know understanding. And uh, there's a lot of things I just don't have any, any you know I don't have any control over or power over. And it's like the situation that's right now. It's like uh, I don't even have the ability to you know talk to the person. And uh, yeah, and I, I might never talk to this person. I might never even meet this person. But, uh, and they can, uh, they are free to choose to believe whatever they want to believe. And uh, if they just decide that that's what they believe, and then they just go away and believe what they want to believe about me and decide that, you know, whatever it is that they want to decide is true. And just, uh, well, they probably were going to have done that anyway, and I couldn't, you know, uh, persuade or convince them otherwise. Same thing for me. I can choose to believe what I want to believe, and uh, you know, that's you know, if that's what somebody wants. Well, I can't change that. So, so if if, if communication is wanted, then it'll be there. But if it's really not wanted, because it's too inconvenient, um, then there's that. So, anyway, that's where the bah humbug comes in. Because I thought, uh, even with things being as they are, that, uh, you know, with effort, with, you know, change, um, yeah, I just anything's possible. You know, even beyond the certainties of doubt. So I mean, until they, because you know, for me, nothing's changed as far as what I know. I'm just a little bit mm, concerned and disillusioned a bit about like maybe I'm not right about stuff. Um, but you know. I'll just keep on doing what I'm doing the way I'm doing it. I have no reason to believe otherwise. Um, and no one watches these things anyway. Um, I've noticed a little bit of uptake in traffic, that uh, there is a little bit of attention, but no one watches. So they like checked, what is this about? You know, for like, you know, um, 10 to 30 seconds, I've noticed. And uh, then they quickly go away. So uh, I don't think anybody's watching. At least they're not going this deep into it. Um, so, this is still a one-on, this is still, uh, just me talking to myself. Um, no one is seeing these, so I feel, I feel better about that now, that I don't have to worry about, uh, this is a, a very private, um, environment. Um, yeah, so, I still could be wrong about that, too, so I'm being, I'm still, I, I think I'm being careful. I think I'm being um, private, and uh, I might not be though. So, but I'm still acting as if um, things are safe, because online is not um, really a place for me. I should be here in this box, but here I am anyway. Um, producing content of questionable quality. So, I don't know. So I find it, I find it entertaining. And if it entertains me, I guess it's okay. It keeps me from pestering other people and bothering them. How nice of me. Again, with the nobility of not pestering. So, anyway, I really do hope that if, like, nothing's wrong, as far as I know, but this is my world, uh, you know, I have a very, very small, small world, and, you know, it's microscopic, except, yeah, that whole thing, anyway, I should go.